All right, so we are in, and right off the bat, okay. Looks like we are going to be... <sighs> We're going to have our hands full. This is usually uh, this is a lot higher pop server than I usually play on, and on top of that, I've been playing on solos, duos, and trios. This is a solo, duo, and quad. So, worst case scenario, I run into a four-man, but I'm definitely going to have... Uh, my abilities uh, strained and tested so keep in mind I am still new to Rust PC I have maybe 3,500 hours on Rust console and god I don't know how I did it for so long I, I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment but yeah so first things first let's figure out where the heck we're going um, I've been living in the desert a lot maybe I'll Let's see if we can maybe do a, a snow uh, rock base. And uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because the pop is much higher. And God, dude, can I get out this freaking rock? Okay, I guess. Uh, all right, first challenge is uh, the cliff here. Looks like the sun's going down, so we do need to uh, start getting some cloth. Get some bags down. Let's kind of go from there. Let's get something going. Okay. If nothing else, this is, can just be a starter and then go from there, I guess. Thank you, sir. Oh, that is, uh... You don't find that every day. Or maybe you do. I, I don't know. That's why. So after farming resources and securing my base a little more, I got enough scrap to research a DB and head it over to the mining outpost. So after depoting the loot, I had a bizarre encounter We're cool, man. with another You're player. Good. It truly went from toxic to wholesome in about 30 seconds. Just watch what happens. Come on, bro. Hey, man, I'm sorry. You kept staring at me. Here, take this. Take this. Take dude, this. Here. Dude, I even said, hey, man, I'm not I'm not going to shoot at you or nothing. And then I kept going, and then you turned around. That's why. I couldn't hear you. I, bro, right. I could not hear you from that far. Take that. That. Can I have my, can I have my pistol back, bro, please? Uh, I couldn't find it. If you can find it on the floor somewhere, uh, you can have it. I literally could not find it at all. Okay. All right, man. 
Good All right. luck, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. So I never did find that damn pistol, but while I was out farming, an airdrop was coming in, so I went for it, and something kind of funny happened for me to get it. Just watch. Okay, so there's people there. just kill him? I think he just killed that M39 kid. Okay. It's gonna... Oh, he's right here in the bush. Oh, he was one shot, dude. He must have... <sighs> Sorry, bro. That sucks. GG's, man. He won that. He really did win that. I feel sleazy for that, but it is what it is. After the airdrop, I went down to the tunnels to get some scrap and some components. Nothing too crazy to see here. Pretty standard. No PvP from any other players, so we won't get too much into this. We just wanted to touch up on it briefly. After the tunnels, I went over to Arctic Lab. I wanted to keep the grind going. Unfortunately, no other players and no PvP. But that's sure to change. Just keep watching. So after Arctic, I noticed there was a base close by that had been raided, but it still had a door on it. So I grabbed some expo to go see if there was anything left in there.
I sealed the base back up. There was nothing too crazy extravagant from this raid. Uh, the main thing is, is I was getting more experience and getting more raids as a solo under my belt and just getting the feel for Rust PC. And so I went on a little roam and, and I found this guy. Um, he didn't really have much, but you know, I had to do what I had to do. After that, I went on a little farm run, and I ran into Yes Clan's farmer, and uh, you could say he was happy to see me. I wonder if that sub's still there. No way, right? They have to have taken it. What is this going to lead? 200 scrap. That one clan in the snow is just coming. Oh, look who it was. It was Jack's little fucking buddy. Or crappy me or whatever the fuck his stupid name was. After my farm run, I went ahead and started setting up another oh, windmill so I could get some more turrets. Fuck. And that's when I had an interaction with one of the locals from the neighborhood. And he was just telling me he got raided. Nothing too crazy. Hello. How are you? Uh, is that you, Prado? Yeah. Oh, who rated you? Is this like a random or something? Are you, are you like, are you the, over on the ice thing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Do, do you want me to help you with anything? Do you need anything? So once I had finished up setting up my windmills and getting some more turrets down, I decided I'd grab the Jackie and go out farm a little more, and then I heard some commotion at Arctic, so I went over to investigate.
So once I left Harbor, I went on another room and I came across a base that was near mine. It was all high qual and that kind of screamed to me something was off, I guess. And so I started talking to the base owners. They were new players and so I started helping them out, out giving some base. tips, giving them uh, a little bit of uh, knowledge that would help them with their wipe. And we started a team so we couldn't kill each other. And we I went on a few adventures together. It's a little loud. Like, you're going to get yourself raided, man, with the high qual. <clears throat> Why not put some honeycomb around it and hide it? Ah, uh, you guys are done talking. I'm friendly, dude. I'm 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 a friendly player. I just saw like HQM. I just got on, and I was like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Because that's all the clans do over here in this area is raid. <sighs> You're cut. We're being honest, we've got about 25 hours on Rust totally. And uh, so this, a lot of this is, is, is to help us and friends who have a few more hours than us. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're helping you or trolling you, man. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. We wonder the same thing sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Do you, do you see this base that has the windmills down here? Like just EC your position. That's me. I'm the I'm the solo that lives there. So, but well, I'm friendly, man. I'm not, I wasn't coming over here to start no trouble or nothing. Uh, 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 uh. Us too. We we we're just kind of learning. Um, like I said, a lot of it, a lot of. It. Just grinding blueprints, going back and forth. The harbor doesn't seem like it has a ton of scrap, which is kind of a bummer. But, um, the, yeah, I don't know. I really don't even know the map well enough to to know where is the best places to go for the scrap and what, like, the monuments are, are decent. Because, like, a lot of times when I go to monuments, I'm not suited up well enough for the radiation. Um, okay, so most monuments, you're, you're good with a Hazion, of course... They're they're shitty for protection, um, but most monuments you just need eleven more than eleven. Go ahead, bro. I got I got plenty of guns and shit like that. No, I know. I just thought I was being real. I'm just I, that's all. I'm just I've just got a bunch of other. That's it. That's all I've got on me. Um, because like I know, so I've been told that uh, like abandoned supermarkets pretty good. For like so like we're not super super familiar with a lot okay so you come over here and turn this so you come over here and turn this wheel So come turn, come turn this wheel. I gotta have a help. Okay. Oh, okay. Grab it all. It's all you. Grab, grab all, grab, grab them all, dude. It's all you. Okay, so then you want to come up. I've got, I've only heard about it. 
Uh oh. Nice, bro. Yeah, we're about to get some more. So come over here. Check this out. Take this fuse and put that fuse in here in this little box right here. So pick this fuse up by your feet. And then put that fuse in there. And you can just hover loot it in. It's faster. Once it's in, let me know. You can also just drag it in too, dude. Oh, can I? Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, you just drag, you open it up, drag it into the little slot, and then you flip this switch right here. See how it's green now? Okay, no problem. All right, follow me. There's a button right here. You just press the button. Okay, come up here. Take that ladder up here and then... Um, Come inside. Quick, because the door's gonna shut. Okay, there's. Uh, let me just. Is there any. Is Did you get any laptops? I need laptops. It's the only thing I need. Okay. SMG body? That's how you make, like, customs, Tommies. Yeah, grab everything, dude. Grab all the boxes. There's, there's small, or these crates too, the regular ones. Grab everything. And to your right. There you go. Dude, I literally haven't gotten so much loot in one rep. Holy shit. Yet. Okay, and then over at this desk is the red card. Come here and grab it. You can take it. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Okay. Alright, and then let's get that. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh my bad. Cool. Last thing is you gotta come turn the power on to get out. So if you come in here, you'll see this little thing. Just turn it on. There you go. And then um, go press the button by the door right here. This door. You'll see the button. And it'll open now. See it right here? There you go. Got you. Got it. All right. I got you. I was looking at the switch. No problem, man. I know it's when it's all new and stuff, it's like, I don't, oh, you know. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. And that's the thing, because, like, there's, like, there's really no... I mean, you can look up uh, monument videos. There's monument videos, but come on, let's let's get the hell out of here. That's about the only thing I've really done. YouTube and Twitch. Um. What the fuck? Chinook doesn't shoot at people. That's weird. Okay, we might have company. But if you look on and look on the map, you'll see at train yard, which is at J15, you'll you'll see that crate yeah. there. That's time crate. Chinook drops it. Uh, okay. And yeah, yeah. Someone's you? here. Someone's here. Dead. Shit. Pick that star up. Pick that star up. Come over here. I'm watching. Did he have a blue card on him? Uh, yep. 
He did. Uh, okay, so he just did the blue card. I right, grab everything. Pick that gun up. I did. I took everything, bro. Grab his clothes too. There you go. All right, let's go. Here, take this. Get ready to pick it up once I drop it. There you go. Well, since he did it, um, I can show. Oh, yep, yeah, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's uh, behind that green building over there. Yep. He's 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 at that green building, right at two twenty. Y'all. I'm gonna push up. I'm with you. He's inside, I think, or behind the door. Yep. What? After some journeying with my new friends, they had logged off, and so I went to raid a 2x2, uh, two two, expanded 2x2 two two near my base, and um, yeah, this is what happened. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so that's into the two by two. Okay, let's go get four C four. happy it wasn't armored. These boys might come over. What? There we go. sign
say I make a rocket. Bring like 90 of those. Let's see. silencer just in case let's see that uh, one's about to break mm -hmm. okay put that back actually get some more explosive cooking just in case Biggest raid I've done solo on Rust PC, so I know I'm taking it slow, but put like 30 rounds in I'll put like uh, I don't know I don't know how much it is for a garage door enough side of the bunker what the fuck is this sue so that opens the bunker which means TC's right there My ally, fucking Bane. Feel like they're not on, or they would have come. Yeah, it's gonna kill them no matter what. What? Dude, what? 2C4 doesn't fucking... What? <laughs> fucking A. This shit is gonna get me countered.
Someone's messaged me. No time for all that. So after the 2x2 raid, I had noticed that there was a tugboat on the other side of harbor, so I grabbed some expo to go and raid it. Cargo, I hope. Okay, yeah, he's out of render. All right, let's go raid this uh, tugboat. It's been there a few days. Maybe it's already been raided. Who knows? Nice and quiet. Just the way we like it. Well, I got a satchel, so it could get loud, but... Oh, shit. There's two. Fuck. That might be their boat. Maybe he went back to get a teammate. I don't know. Fuck. This is risky. Risky business. Fuck it. We're doing it. Well, I didn't... Oh, there is boxes in there. Okay. Should be last clip. Shit. Okay, we're in. Get in. No, don't go on the ladder. Oh, fuck me, man. What? Oh, it's already been raided. Well, let's take what we can get, I guess. Ooh, that's not bad. We'll take what we can get, and I guess that's the risk of uh, raiding a uh, thingy. Tugboat. Because it could really suck, or it's been raided, and uh, it's been raided and really sucks. So, yeah. Not that bad, but hmm. I guess it saves me from crafting some stuff. From here, the server was completely dying. 
the bigger groups are going around and just raiding every small little group. There was almost no PvP, and it was getting to the point where I was only running into two, three, and four men groups. And so, as a new player to Rust PC, there was only so much I could do. I was very limited um, in terms of PvP, and so I stopped playing this server a lot and uh, took like maybe a day break, and then. When I got back on, sure enough, I've been offline. Um, happy for whoever raided me. I was I was pretty loaded. I had a lot of stuff, um, even as a solo, and uh, even as a new Rust player or Rust PC player, I should say. And so, um, it was a fun little white man. And 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 my hats off to whoever got the loot. Um, I hope they used it well and they were able to have some fun with it. And uh, no hard feelings, of course. And, I'm not sure if I'm going to be back on this server or not, um, but it's it's it was just different. It was a different experience. And so um, had a lot of uh, weird things happen in this server, but overall, you know, I appreciated all the uh, experiences I got from this wipe. And so I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you would like to do so, or if you would like to subscribe. Um, but no pressure. Don't feel like is some sort of like uh you know just do whatever you want if you like the stuff subscribe if not it's no big deal but i appreciate you watching either way Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate, but I guess that is the end.